Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in this series from Colouring Heaven's Halloween Special. Um, these are the Agatha Pop Halloween Tinies and we are on page three. We are nearly um, done with them all, which is quite sad. But um, we have three of the cutest looking ghosts that I've ever seen to colour today. Let's try and pop them into the centre of the page. There we go. Now, obviously ghosts can be normally white and that means that you know you could choose if you want them white do black eyes and a background and leave them white that you could choose to do that put a bit of gray shading in a few areas but i'm not going to do that i'm going to make them colored um i think it's quite a challenge for me and uh, i think it's going to be quite fun i've got an idea and i just hope that it works i'm just going to grab the colors I'm going to use so I remember what I'm doing there we go um, and try this big one first I'm gonna start with a cobalt turquoise yeah it's, it's it's a bit different if you don't like it you did do it that's why I said you can do it white gray whatever but uh, I'm just trying something else so I want a a thickish layer of this pencil all the way around the edge that's where I'm gonna start um, it's not even here, it doesn't matter. I'm going to come round and do a bit more with it in a minute. So it's fine. All the way around and down here. So it's just a simple start. Oh, excuse me, it's all going to be simple anyway. You don't need to worry. I'm really hot all of a sudden. Now... I'm going to come back and work on each little part. So here, we're going to, we want to scumble the colour in a bit, so reduce it. So make sure that this edge is dark and it goes all the way to the black line and then scumble your colour in. Now for the hand, I'm actually going to go all around it like that. It might look a little bit different in your hand. Now scumble this one in. Now some parts down here in the bottom I haven't coloured quite to the edge of the black line so I'm just going to check that as I go and uh, do that a little bit more. I'm going to have to take my cardigan off though. Oh, I've got this great technique actually of unbuttoning it and just slipping it down over my shoulders, keeping it on my arms. I pulled my sleeves up a bit and uh, I cool off. And I can pop it back on. It's lazy, I guess, but it, um, it's good. I'm, uh, I'm thinking of buying another cardigan actually this winter. I think I've had this one a couple of winters now. It's getting a bit scruffy. It's cosy though, and very warm. And it's not wool because, um, although I would like to use wool because I do think it's better for the environment in some ways. Um, environment, environmentalists might argue with me but I'm not too keen on using plastic based fabrics which is what everything seems to be and uh, also um, cotton takes a lot of water to grow so it's, it's really tricky isn't it knowing what to use but um, anyway I can't use um, wool makes me itch so much that it's not an option now we have these lines here <clears throat> I'm going to put a bit of our blue along them just to create a bit of shadow hopefully now we're going to use our next color i feel i yeah i need a progression color i know what i mean i don't i, I it's this isn't my next color that i picked oops just hit my lamp i was trying to turn my screen a bit cobalt green so i can see it <clears throat> they're going to go over all of this and just bring the colour in a little more okay like this and it's just going to help to blend into the next colour because my next colour is quite different and I think that it might it might be difficult otherwise there we go and same on the little arm don't put too much here because we haven't got a lot of space, but hey, if we run out of space, it's not the end of the world. We just don't use all the colours. I'm going to ignore these lines. I'm just going to um, go around this edge. 
because I don't I'm not going to put a, any other color there um, that just that's just going to be a one line of sort of one line of shadow <clears throat> I'm not explaining myself very well. There we go. Now our next colour is light thalo green. That's why I felt going straight from the dark blue to this might have been tricky. We want to go over everything again. Not the eyes, go around the eyes. I don't know what I'm doing with the eyes yet. And um, bring it in. sure how far in to go with this colour. I think probably nearly all the way. So we'll start to lighten it here. Is this mouth? No, his mouth isn't in the middle, is it? Mm. That's okay. I think it's going to work. So we've got a lighter area in the centre there. Same Start thinking about my TV show. I was watching Strictly Come Dancing last night. I wonder who's going to go out this week. Um, sometimes it's really obvious, but in the last few years, the voting audience have tended to just knock out the worst answer and sort of agreed with the judges, who obviously are supposed to judge on the dancing rather than anything else. Whereas in previous years it has been a bit of a popularity contest and the person who warms, who the crowd warms to the most tends to be the ones that stay in. And last week the person who went out was a big shock. Um, so uh, I'm thinking, is that going to happen this week? It makes it very exciting. Our final colour is this cadmium yellow lemon. Okay. And we're not going to put this over all of it, just this centre. We're going to create a glow in the middle like this. And then, so we're only sort of going over these, this area that we left a bit lighter, really. <laughs> I think it's fun. There and there, look. So he's got a sort of glow. You can see how these are just emphasizing those creases, and I haven't done anything else too complicated with it. You could, but I think it's fine like that. I'm going to do the other two the same, I think. Um, it's going to be um, going to have less of each color because they're smaller, but I, I like that. So, sorry. Cobalt turquoise. It helps if I tell you what colour I'm using, doesn't it? Sorry. <laughs> so again, around the edge and over these, but we've got a lot less space, so we need to be a bit more frugal with our colour. So the arm, I'm not going to do any more. I might just do the tiniest bit of scumbling around the edge here. Just to help us with our blend. Right, oops. Apparently go out the line. I'm going to do this one as well. Now the reason I didn't do all three first was because I wanted to just make sure I got it right. If you know what I mean. Um, on the larger one it's a little bit easier to work out what was going on. And... Uh, And hence I realised it was wrong and I added that extra colour in. So uh, it was, the experiment worked well. Okay, here is our cobalt green. So as before, right over what's been there before, this arm isn't going to have any glow in it because it's too small. Just had a nice lunch with my boys. They were um, chattering about various things, which is nice. My son, who was really, really tired, isn't anymore, so that's great. He's done a bit of work this morning. I don't 
I think it's going to do only this afternoon, but he's got a better understanding of what he needs to do, which is really good. Hopefully he'll be able to do a little bit tomorrow as well. So that's all good. I feel I need a bit more scumbling going on here because we're going to go to our fallow grain. Um, light fallow green. Oh, I'll show you the name. Sorry, I've got an itchy eye. I'm just going to... So we put this over everything, didn't we? Doesn't look like I put much there, though. Or there. <laughs> Which one am I colouring? <laughs> really terrified of ghost type stories and films and things it just it's always scared me from a child you know that sort of theme I just hate it but these are very cute I'm I'm very happy with these they look very friendly and cute and sweet and lovely and not at all scary so uh, but yes I went to watch the sixth sense innocently not really thinking about what it would be about find really find me people are really surprised why they frighten you it's just it's just cadmium yellow lemon it's like someone who really loves snakes going well why do snakes frighten you it's not there's no logic in there it just did <laughs> it's just something that scares me but these are lovely and they don't scare me at all so that's good there he is glowing now I think the eyes and things need to be in black. I can't really think of any other way of doing them. So here is our black. Now we have done bits of glitter pen on every single page. So, um, not page, well yes, every page, but every image. So I'm trying to think of what to do here um, with glitter. I don't think our ghosts actually need any. I think they look rather cute and nice as they are. I don't. This sign, I think. I think I'm going to put the boo in orange. I know it sounds weird, but I'm thinking like you know pumpkins and stuff. And if it looks hideous, this is the orange glaze. I will. Um, cover it with a glitter pen but I might put some glitter on it anyway I think this is the place that needs the glitter cool, it's very fine if you've um if you haven't got a sharp pencil you might struggle a little bit with this there we go and then the paper I'm going to do in black as well but not such a hard, intense black. I'm just going to start with a light layer and I'm just going to see how it looks. It may need more, but we can see as we go. Now, I'm tempt you know, it's tempting to sharpen my pencil more so that I can get into the details. But if I make it too sharp, it's going to be impossible to keep it this light. A blunter pencil gives you a lighter touch, so it's just getting that um, balance between um, between the um, lighter touch and the detailing. I think I'm doing okay. I'm doing well enough for me, so that's okay. Now our piece of paper has got lots of little lines on. I'm going to emphasise those a little bit. By just putting in some shading. Mm, it's fun. And I'm going to go over the word boo in glitter. Now I could use my orange glitter pen or I could use my clear glitter pen. I think I'm going to use the orange one. Oh. So this is 705.
doesn't really look much different to the oranges there already. There we go. Boo. <laughs> I'm not going to use any white or anything actually. I am happy with that just as it is. They do still look cute, which was my main worry. I wanted them still to look really cute they do so that's great so there we are a short one today but we've got quite a large um large one tomorrow uh, with our haunted house but uh, for now um please tune in for tomorrow for the last one um it'll be lovely to have you watching but um hope you have a super scary day no not too scary and uh, yeah thank you for watching and happy coloring <laughs>